It can be very hard starting off as a real estate agent, especially in your first 100 days. This week on the podcast, we sit down with Heidi Monroe, a realtor in Saskatoon, who takes us through how she is winning clients and doing business in 2023 in her first 100 days as a realtor. Hope you enjoy. This is the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast, the show that highlights Saskatchewan real estate. Looking to buy your first house, your next investment property? Subscribe to never miss an episode. Here's your host, Ron Caroni. Hello and welcome back to the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. I'm your host, Ron Caroni. If you enjoy Saskatchewan, if you like real estate, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to never miss any future episodes. Potentially, you're a realtor in Saskatoon or a potential realtor and you're thinking about how to get into the market. And this is going to be a great episode because we're sitting down with a new realtor, Heidi Monroe, and she's going to basically explain her experience about the the first basically 100 days of being an agent and give us some background of what it takes and some of the challenges she has faced. So uh, that's your introduction, Heidi. Thanks so much for coming on the podcast. Hi, Ron. Nice to be here. So give us a little background, other than being a Saskatoon realtor, give us the background of Heidi Monroe and what you did before real estate. Well, I I was in the music industry and I still am. Um, I keep really busy with that. I was in education. Um, I do events planning. So so my circle is pretty, pretty big. Yeah. Wonderful. And so maybe that's going to make it easier as you kind of venture into real estate here. But yeah. let's just start it off. You started in 2023. We've seen, you know, interest rates are as high as they've been in 20 years. We have a really competitive market right now. How hard is it to be a realtor right now in 2023? Well, you know, I think you nailed it right there. Um, coming on with with the inventory quite low. Um, and, and when you're older, um, getting into it, you know, um, I wish I would have started this a lot sooner, but the, the inventory is, is a real challenge. Um, we, we have a lot of newcomers to Canada and to, and to Saskatchewan and, and the needs are changing. Right. We have so many new buyers right now. And as a new agent, a lot yeah. of times. Those are exactly the clients that you're focused on. You're not getting a ton of listings at that time. You're dealing with people who are kind of getting into that first home. And how disappointing it must be for a lot of buyers is you're putting a lot of offers onto these properties and you're dealing with a lot of competition. That that is right. You know, um, I had a, a first time home buyer that um, offered way above list and um, it didn't happen for him. And, you know, it gets it gets disheartening for them. But um, as as a new realtor, uh, one of the things that I've learned is that you've you've really got to be on the ball. You've really got to be aware very very quickly and how quickly things things are selling and changing and and work really hard for your clients. Other than that low inventory, Heidi, are there any like big challenges that you face just starting off? Um, you know, I think because because it is um, there is. There is a lot of legalities attached to it. You you have to be very careful. You have to be very very detailed. And I'm very thankful for the team at Mulan Betcher, great administration, a great team leader in Josh. That you know um, you send paperwork back and forth and back and forth, and um, you just you just change it and correct it until it's right. And right. You know, that's that's one of one of the challenges. Um, you know because because you don't want to mess that up. And so, so much of it, I can kind of echo that being a mortgage broker that a lot of those early deals, you're really relying on the expertise of the people around you and the people in your office. And so that can even be a major benefit to sometimes to your clients. And you can even be very upfront that, hey, this is some of my first couple of deals, but I have, you know, 50 years of experience of real estate behind me of these folks on the back end who are helping. And so even though I'm kind of fresh on my legs here, you're getting a lot of back end help. So, you know, even even just as a general note for someone who's a new mortgage broker or a new realtor getting in, really important that you have that back end support on on those first couple deals. Yeah, yeah, it is, you know, and um, I think, I think a lot of the the client relationships that I'm that I'm forming, and you know, I I, I have sold three or four properties. Um, part part of the comfort for the client was that yes, I'm new, but but I've got a whole team, and 
um, and that's and that's real comforting for such for a kind help of clients. Yeah. What would you say are some things that surprised you about getting into real estate? Or was there something that, you know, on the outset, you finish the course and you start working, you're like, man, I was not expecting it to be like this. Is there anything that really surprised you as you kind of started to get your feet under you? Actually, there is so much, so much that that you that you didn't read in a book. <laughs> um, you know, from the from the timelines and the due process. Um, that's, that's what I really, really noticed. Um, I'm, I'm very comfortable with, with clients and with the public being, being, being in the music industry and just having the, the history that I have. I, I really enjoy that. Um, but, but it was the, it was the office administration things that, that there's a lot of balls in here, you know, uh, you have to, you have to juggle, juggle a lot. Yeah. Lots of things to manage. And, you know, whatever yeah. industry you came into real estate yeah. from, typically someone doesn't kind of come out of high school and become a no. realtor or a yeah. mortgage broker. There's always going to be some sort of life yeah. experience there. And and even piggybacking on what you said, like I had a broadcasting background before yeah. I was a mortgage broker. And so you kind of find your ways of leading into the strengths of things that you learned from that past experience. And so being yeah. a performer so much uh, of what we do is communication and and effectively kind of preparing people and and helping people through the process so in that sense you would probably be more advanced than a lot of experienced realtors just from your background uh, of performance is, is that something you'd agree with oh yeah you know and then to being a a artist there is there is a lot of self-promotion and advertising and just letting the public know you're out there and um and getting them excited and help them visualize and that's and that's a big part of of being a realtor and of getting clients and getting their trust and um getting them um, excited about new home, home ownership or or selling their home and moving on to bigger and better things you know yeah we're going to see a lot of artists who are going to reach out to you after. I this. Know. <laughs> I'm going to become a realtor now. I, I'm Maybe. a basic fan. So I think I'm going, get, I'm going to get my license as well because this perfectly transfers over. As you kind of move forward in, in this first year, Heidi, and, and you kind of find some some steadying a, a, a little bit for you, what are some things that you'd like to grow into in your real estate business? Or are there things that you you feel like you have to focus on more? Or, or is there any advice that you'd give to people to like what you have to really work on? as you kind of grow into being that first year realtor? Yeah, I think that actually we touched on this yesterday when when we had our team meeting um, and it and it really resonated with me. Josh gave some great advice is that is that when you're new and um, you get your first listings or your first sales, you kind of forget about prospecting or you don't really forget about it. It's in the back of your mind, but for some reason you just can't seem to juggle everything and you know so so that kind kind of gets left by by the wayside and um and and having the skills to be able to do both is extremely important really important and um and and in the challenges of of low inventory um in the city and and there is a lot of realtors you know uh, you have you have to set yourself apart you have to be genuine you have to stand by your word you have to offer something that nobody else does and i really think that mulan better does that because of the team approach um when when someone lists with us it isn't just me it's the whole team you know uh, they have the whole team wor working for them and 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 also it's really important to have mentors um even the questions that i knew were probably extremely dumb um or just you know i i just didn't know um you you, you have to have people to ask you correct you really yeah. I don't really know if that goes away either i i, I know that in our office there's a group chat yeah. 
And there are like the most experienced agents like, yeah. hey, how, how, do, how do we calculate that total debt service yeah. ratio? How does this? And so the questions never stop. And I think so having yeah. an open mind to know that the questions are always going to be there and yeah. to stay humble and and be a lifelong learner throughout. Yeah. So that, that that's wonderful stuff. Just yeah. to wrap it up, Heidi, I always like to ask everyone who comes on the podcast, if there was a piece of advice that you could give to a younger version of yourself. So this could be like just before you started as an agent, or if you want to go way back to like when you're 20, um, yeah. I'll, I'll leave it to you. What piece of advice would you give to to young Heidi? To young Heidi, well, re real estate was something that I thought of when I was in my 20s. And, you know, it just seemed really daunting at that time. I just wasn't in that place. But but periodically over a few decades, I'm not going to say how many, <laughs> um, you know, I still really wanted to do it. I thought that it was something that I would really enjoy, that I could serve people well. Um, the thought of it excited me. I would have started earlier. I would have. You know, definitely. a lot of people, you know, I do have yeah. a lot of state people, yeah. so it's a common answer, but I think it's a good one. Yeah. I think yeah. the idea of getting into something that's a, a long-term asset that that grows over time is a, is a wonderful idea and something that you're going to help a lot of people in the future get into, Heidi. So thank you much for, for joining us today and kind of expanding upon your, your early start here in real estate. I really appreciate that. If someone yeah. is interested in either they're the bass player who wants to get into oh, real estate okay. or if there's someone who, who wants to buy a buy or list a house with you, what's the best way to get in contact with you? Yes. Yeah. The best way to get a hold of me is my cell number is 306-961-6646 or Heidi at SaskatoonRealEstate.com um, or call Caldwell Banker Signature, Facebook, Instagram, all those kinds of things. So Wonderful. Thanks very much, Heidi. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much, Ron. Hey, thanks for checking out this episode of the Saskatchewan Real Estate Podcast. If you like this episode and you found value, make sure to do us a favor, like and subscribe to never miss a future episode. If you're currently in the market looking for a home in Saskatchewan, I am a licensed mortgage broker and would be more than happy to help you out on that first purchase, refinance, or renewal. Until next week, I'm Ron Caroni, your Saskatchewan mortgage professional. Bye for now.